whether saved or unsaved, Christian or non-Christian, believer of Christ Jesus or non-believer of Christ Jesus, they're always assuming and uh, in their uh, perspective saying what a Christian should be and what a Christian should not be, how they should behave, how they should conduct themselves, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and for the record, it's uh, we should be conducting ourselves uh, after the spirit of God, not necessarily what man says. However, <laughs> and I'm not saying uh, that somebody has to look stupid and smile from ear to ear all day long like a Cheshire cat or uh, whatever, uh, but there must be light in you. That light must be seen. Your light must be seen. It is for a reason. Because you are a lighthouse. What is a lighthouse for? It is for those who need uh, protection from danger or or to, to see where they're going or there are various reasons for light and lighthouse. So you at least, someone should see some light in you. Okay? Not that you're walking around with that sour look on your face. You don't give people eye contact. You, I don't, <laughs> hmm. you know, and again, you don't have to walk around like some people think, oh, praise the Lord, <laughs> smiling from stupid ear to ear, you know, walking around, <laughs> oh, you Lord, oh, you blessed and highly favored and all of that. No, 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 no. Don't be foolish now. Let's not be foolish and counterfeit and fake. But this, this there's this one sister in quotes that I see all the time, not all the time, but I've had interactions with her and when she uh, I, you know, I gave her a little small word of prophecy, blah, blah, blah. And she was so excited about it. And she just went gaga, you know, and it's been a while since I had seen her. So periodically when I have seen her since then, I have, you know, tried to greet her well or whatever. Oh my goodness. If you could see how she behaves, because someone brought it to my attention, a family member actually had brought it to my attention, how the person behaved to, towards them. And I, and I was like, huh, okay. So I started, you know, frequenting in place, or not really just for that, not for that reason, just having to see her. And I was like, oh, just noticed that the, that per, you know that what they told me was correct her, her her attitude and her behavior is just nasty and awful and she pretends like she's a christian but she showed there's no light not the light of the lord in her at all you know because you are in a position you're in a public setting you don't know who's coming in your, your your establishment or who's coming through your line that needs a smile or a word of encouragement, okay? You don't know who the Lord has sent, you know, through there, but you're not ready. You're not ready to receive or to give, you know, you're not, you know what I'm saying? You, oh, it's crazy. So again, the moral of the story is let your light so shine. Okay, that people will see it and ask or, or give glory to your father and or ask, who is your God? I want to serve the God that you are serving. The God that I have been serving has been failing me over and over again. The God as I have been serving is made by man's hands, whatever their God is. So be a light. Be a shining light. Be a beacon of hope to someone, beloved. Don't be fake. Stop all of this phoniness. It's so t I'm so tired of this. Re all of this religion and religious and tradition and fakeness and counterfeits and fold this, fold that. F A U uh, X. <laughs> you know all this phoniness. You know, and I'm going to tell her about herself too. When I see her next, I'm going to say, you know what? You should be a real, you should be a beacon of light. And yet you are just a den of darkness, my dear sister. You need to change your ways. Yes. 
Yes. Matter of fact, I might even make her up a card so I can give it to her when I see her. But yeah, she, he, she is, you know, we. This is to all of us. Because a lot of people, they go around, they think that you're supposed to have this smile, this stupid plastic smile on your face all day long. That's not the way it goes. Live your life naturally and organically through the Spirit of God. March on, Christian brothers and sisters. March on, Christian brethren. Be a light in this dark, dark world. Be a beacon of light so that someone will see and, and you'll be able to point them toward Jesus Christ, not toward religious organizations, not toward man-made religion, but to Christ Jesus, where they will find and the healing and deliverance and direction that they need, honey. God bless you. I pray in the name of Jesus for your strength as you are walking through different challenges, going through daily life and whatnot. I pray for your strength in the Lord. And I pray that you, he who has an ear to hear, will hear this word of the Lord. And, and, and if you don't have ears to hear, beloved, you better go find you some ears because you need these ears, this particular type of ear, a spiritual ear. You need that type of ear in order to hear what the Lord is saying. You need a spiritual ear from the Lord, okay? You need to pray for those ears because you've. Been, some of us have been listening to that we've been hearing, but we've been hearing from the wrong spirits. Okay, you've been hearing from the wrong spirits who have, which have led you into a, a tizzy and a tailspin of nonsense, utter nonsense, utter darkness, <laughs> utter foolishness. Okay, need I say more? So anyway, we love you very much and pray again that something was said that, to encourage you, enlighten you and to comfort you because we've all messed up some way, somehow. But thank God that because we are on this side of heaven, we are able to get it right. It's called repentance. It's called repentance, meaning that you change your mind. You turned around. You said, I'm, oh, no, I'm not going that way anymore. I'm going this way. Okay. Go a new route, a new direction. Just don't worry about oh, a saving face and trying to be embarrassed or shame. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about what people are going to say and all of that. Those people have nothing, uh, no hell, no heaven, nothing to put you into. They have nothing but garbage for you. Okay? But the Lord has a blessed redeemed beautiful life for you walk into that life okay walk in that life and that light walk in the light the beautiful the beautiful light you know that hymn that song that hymn you know so, yeah, uh, I love you. Thank you so much for listening. Um, again, I pray that you will be delivered from 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 man, <laughs> man's hands. Ooh, be delivered from man's hands and his plan for you. Be delivered from it and be delivered into the good hands of the Lord. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye for now.